hello hello and welcome back to Brit reviews it all so today i am back with a video i did record last week's episode uh my review for last week's episode of sisters sisters i don't know what was going on with youtube it could have been my connection but i'm if it's not posted i'm gonna double check and i may have to re-upload that one so um we are on the next episode um Three's a crowd or something like that. I think that's what it's called. And it's really starting to get to a point where it's like, okay, where are we going from here? What what is where is the like where are we going? One major thing. We have the thing with Karen. She tells Zach that that she's having twins. He automatically gets excited. Um, I mean, I can understand his excitement as far as, you know, becoming a father of twins. You know, that's a pretty big deal. Um, financially, he knows that he can he can manage um, the his current child that he has now. And then the possibility of those two. But my thing is, Zach, calm down. Because there is still the question of who is the actual father of these children that Karen is carrying. Um... Karen is still in a state of shock, and I can totally understand why, because I probably would have been the same way. Two kids, OMG, that's a lot. I am not, she's not with the father. They're not in an actual relationship with each other. They're not together, living together. They're not together at all. And then on top of that, managing running a reboot of her hair, her salon. That's a lot. Um, and then there is the bigger question of okay there's two babies in there um is it gonna be that one belongs to zach and one belongs to aaron or is zach you know what's gonna what's gonna be what we still don't know tyler is dragging this thing out about who is the freaking father of this girl's babies i'm getting annoyed okay um but Tima, I can very much understand why she wasn't jumping for joy like Zach. Why would you think she would be overly excited? You already have one child um, that and that occurred before her. The situation with Karen, it was in a moment of weakness where y'all were kind of in a weird spot with each other. And you went and you slept with Karen and you got her pregnant, uh, possibly. And now you're saying, okay, well, there may not just be one more child added to my my children. We may have two that we may have to deal with. And then on top of that, she's getting ready to start law school. So that is a lot. And Zach is going to want to be very heavily involved with his children. Totally understand. But he is going to have to understand Fatima's point of view as well. You're giving her a lot and you're expecting her to be just excited as you are. I wouldn't have been. That's a lot. Okay, so there's that. And another thing, y'all, when do we ever see Zach working? We don't never see him working. I, I would like to see a little bit more of that so that we can know, you know, all we know is he has money now. And that's it, which is great. Nothing's wrong with that. I love seeing this level up on Zach from Zach's part. Okay. <clears throat> now i will say i was very very annoyed that karen felt the need to request for all of her girlfriends to come by her house j just to tell her just to tell them that she's actually pregnant with twins when the bigger thing that they really want to know is why the other ladies were excited i was understanding where danny was coming from my girl that's something you could have seen me in a text you could have did a group phone call and you could have told us this, but to make me have to leave where I was or make pencil you in on my day just to come over here for you to tell me something for two seconds and then we're out leaving. It was so unnecessary. So I felt her on that. Um, but yeah, the bigger question in Danny's mind, I feel the same way, girl. Okay, so do we know who the daddy is? That's what we really want to know. Just saying. Okay, now, going over to something else that is, is really starting to irk my nerves is Penelope. Oh, my gosh. 
What more do you need to see coming from Gary to understand that for the safety of yourself and your unborn child, that you need to get away from him completely? I don't know if your brother, he's been staying over at Andy's place every day or whatever. He still has his own place. I, you need to get away from him, literally. But for your safety, for the child's safety, you already know he's he's showing lots of he's showing that he's very unstable. He's going crazy. He's losing it because everything that he is trying to do is failing. And that's what he get anyway for being such a snake. Um, everything that he's trying to do is not working. And it's getting down to the point where I think whoever he's talking about taking out, I think that he's talking about taking out Andy because he is very, very irritated that she had the nerve to want to, to stop messing with him, to throw him to the wayside, to start messing and talking to other men. He's very jealous and he is upset. Only reason he is hanging on to Penelope is because she is pregnant with his child. That is the only reason. And another thing, he has that girl information. He's probably trying to do something with her account or something. It's just a lot of things just, just weird. That lady that came to that office and he thought he was going to smooth talk her and whatever, baby, she saw right through him. And it was like, that's what you get. Now pick your mouth up off the floor. Pick your face up. I was so freaking happy that she gave him the business. I was like, Yes. Another loss for Gary. Okay. Um, I'm just, it's very weird how this guy is just getting around. And, and Andy even talked to Penelope like, girl, you need to get away. From and she is still, she didn't answer his phone call at that time when, Andy, when her and Andy were together. But you are still around him. You go mess around and get hurt. Literally. But that's that. Okay. Now, anything else really crazy happened in this episode that I can think of? Fatima and Danny, they had like a little moment because Fatima, baby, she had to leave the house for a second to get some, some air to just take in everything. Um, her and Danny, they somewhat have some kind of similarities in some of the things that they're dealing with. Um, and they were able to just kind of talk to each other, you know, and that was really cool to see. Um, because Danny actually likes with him, she's, you know, but it just sucks the situation, you know. And then you have, um, they sat down for a double date and they were, and they were just talking to each other. Like, remember, and not for Tima, but from Sabrina and from, uh, Danny just basically saying, look. Let's go back to where we started when we first met them, which was just to in, in, to live the moment, have fun with the, with our with our men, and we will work through the things as they come up. And I really want them to keep that going because y'all are pushing very heavy things in these relationships on Sabrina's side mostly. And let's remember. Y'all just met them not too long ago. Y'all just met these guys. And you're like on some really serious stuff. Sabrina, you ready to have babies? And he's like, whoa, slow down. I'm not mad at that. Slow your roll. But talk about the important things. But slow it down. Danny, this man has children. It is very, it's throwing a bunch of red flags that you are pretty much saying, yeah, you can have your children. It's cool. Have them here and you can, you know, they come here and there and, you know, but to stay, that's a big flip. And I'm like, what's it to you? You and Tony don't even live together. But at the end of the day, he didn't need to approve that through you. Did he need to maybe let you know, hey, some changes going on. My kids are going to come stay with me for a while while their mother is dealing with whatever they're dealing with. Of course, just to give you a heads up and then y'all can work on the way of, you know, wanting to slowly introduce you to them and get to know them. But yeah, it it's just like, okay, y'all, y'all doing too much. Don't ruin it, Danny. He seems like he's a pretty good guy. Um, 
the other dude, I forget his name. He seems like he's a pretty good dude, but he's just got a lot going on. I don't know if it's with all his with his business because um, he's running that shop and then he wants to open a new location and maybe he's just really busy. But um, hey, he he's working and he's an entrepreneur, a business owner. And that's that's awesome. Support him. Jeez, you need to be focusing on your career, Sabrina. But yeah, um, that's all I really got out of this particular episode. Um, nothing really major came from it. I guess we're going to see what happens next week or whatever, whenever the next episode is going to air. Um, yeah. Yeah. Kind of getting annoyed with the, with the way we're dragging certain things out. It's like, can you just let us know already? Don't let it come next week and we still don't know who this girl, who the father of this, these babies are. Please. And thank you. Alrighty, y'all. Well, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I will talk to y'all again as soon as I can. Bye, y'all.